you're my best friend. More with Lenny coming up after the headlines on two with Tina. BBC News at 8.31, this is Tina Dehealy. The biggest strike on Britain's railways in a generation is underway. Up to 40,000 members of the RMT union are walking out for three days this week in a row about pay and conditions. The Prime Minister is expected to condemn union leaders for the action. Boris Johnson says they are harming the very people they claim to be helping. People with HIV can now have full careers in the British Armed Forces. Until today, potential recruits living with the virus had been banned from joining while serving members were not deployed overseas. A Russian journalist has sold his Nobel Prize medal for more than £80 million and says all the money will go towards helping children displaced by the war in Ukraine. Dmitry Muratov was recognised last year for his efforts in protecting free speech. Today's weather, warm and sunny for most, cloudy in the north of the UK with the chance of the odd shower. That's the BBC News, our next at nine. Thank you very much, Tina. Paul has your sport. Thank you very much, Zoe. Good morning. Now we are less than a week away from Wimbledon and in preparation, the tennis tour are on the grass courts of Eastbourne this week. Britain's Jodie Burridge, Harriet Dart and Jack Draper all won their first round matches yesterday. Today, 23-time Grand Slam champion Serena Williams returns to the sport after a year away. She's in the doubles with On Jabour. The England cricket coach Lisa Kitely says she's disappointed that Test cricket doesn't appear to be in the ICC's plans for the women's game. Chairman Greg Barkley says women's tests aren't any part of the landscape moving forward. As a coach and in women's cricket, I find that those comments are disappointing. Um, I feel that we have to continue to uh, evolve women's cricket. And I think from the last few test matches, it's, it's worth playing them because they've been really good and exciting and it gives the players opportunity to grow their skill sets. Well, England play South Africa in a test at Taunton next week. And Ryan Giggs has resigned as head coach of Wales with immediate effect. He says he doesn't want Wales' preparations for the World Cup to be affected, destabilised or jeopardised by his upcoming trial. Giggs has pleaded not guilty to controlling and coercive behaviour against his ex-girlfriend. Thank you very much, Paul. On BBC Radio 2. Lenny Henry with us. He'll be talking about his new show, which starts tomorrow night on BBC One. Uh, no, it's on BBC Two tomorrow night at nine o'clock. It's called Lenny Henry's Caribbean Britain. We'll talk to Lenny after Don Henley.